Back in now with Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach. Uh, we have a lot of good news out there, don't we, including our weather. We do, and, and here's some good news, too. I have a very forgiving husband because I forgot his birthday today. So I want to say, <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's so much going on. <laughs> I can't. If I sing, he may divorce me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, happy birthday. You know who you are. I'm not going to embarrass you any further, but happy birthday. I, I really was thinking about you, but just not about your birthday. <laughs> hey, that just makes you younger, right? We can skip this year. 54 right now in Portland. Man, wind is out of the northwest at just 8 miles per hour. And your sunrise time will be 7:12. So what's happening for us right now? We are under a ridge of high pressure. That's going to give us some really nice weather for the weekend. And then in comes the wet weather, but that won't be until Monday morning. So get out there and enjoy the sunshine big time. So along with rain for us, we of course have to talk about snow. How low will the snow go? Well, this seems like a familiar theme, right? Because last weekend we were talking about snow and saw the snow all the way down to the valley floor. Not the case this time around. We're not going to be that cold. Snow levels down to about 2000 feet and that drops as soon as we get to Monday morning with that cold front riding in and sticking around for a few days. So for at least two days, Monday through Tuesday night, we might be able to collect anywhere from about two to four inches of snow right around government camp, a little bit higher up, maybe something closer to six inches, but as low as 2,000 feet, it looks as though we may only accumulate possibly up to an inch. So uh, disturbances on the road should be minimal if you're going uh, across our coastal passes, but if you're using mountain passes Monday and Tuesday, just keep that in mind for some extra cold and wet weather. So your day planner for tomorrow inland, we're going to start off with, yeah, mostly clear conditions. A temperature of about 41 for you right around 8 o'clock. And then for your lunch hour at 12, we're expecting 51, 3 o'clock, 59, a high of 60 tomorrow. Yeah, compare that to today. Today we had a high of 67. We didn't break any records at PDX, but certainly way above normal. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to dial back those temperatures just a bit, but still plenty of sunshine at the coast. Your temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 50s. Inland Valley temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s, but those morning temperatures not quite as cold tomorrow. We're going to start start off in the low 40s. Central Oregon temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Pendleton 65, Baker City 62. The Dalles will get up to about 66. Hood River starting off the morning right around 40, nice and clear for you. A high of 63 and government camp starting off the morning at 29, but by the afternoon getting up to about 53. So timing wise for the rain, when is it going to show up? That'll be Monday morning first to the coast and then spreading inland. At that time, we're dragging in some colder air. So for Monday and Tuesday, again, freezing levels right around 2000 feet. And then that rain sticks with us through Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon, there's a slight chance we might be running into a few thunderstorms. We'll have to see how everything plays out, but certainly introducing much colder air to our region. We get to Wednesday and Thursday, and then we start to see everything kind of break up a little bit. So not a complete soaker for the entire week. You'll have little breaks in between. Better chance for some drier weather if you're going to be spending any time from the Dalles out to the east. But yeah, even snow for eastern Oregon down to about 2000 feet as well. We get to Wednesday evening and then we see a brief drying period and then Thursday afternoon evening the next chance for rain after that going into Friday. But so what's consistent here are your temperatures over the weekend being in the low to mid 60s, nice dry conditions, but then we're going to stick pretty much with the low 50s Monday through Friday of next week. That's it for your forecast. We're going to send on over to uh me. You, Jennifer, <laughs> not Travis. Go to Jennifer. Right. Oh, but Travis is coming up. The thorns and